What's up everybody, Justin Seely here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. As always, thank you for making me a part of your day. You are very much appreciated. If you have not already done so, consider subscribing to the channel, really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you get a little ding each and every time I post a new video. And if you like this video today, give it a thumbs up. It's a small but meaningful gesture that really helps the channel grow or at least that's what all these experts tell me on YouTube. I really have no idea. But in any case, what are we talking about today? Well, today we are going to be talking about Adobe Illustrator and specifically how to create a little metal uh, family crest type thing, but we're gonna be doing it using art brushes in Illustrator, one of the more underutilized tools in my opinion, and it's super simple once you know the secret. So let's go ahead and start brand new let's just go to file new and hit create and doesn't matter how big or how small your canvas is mine is going to be a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels but again doesn't really matter so grab my ellipse tool first and foremost and i'm going to start by pressing the backslash key to remove the fill from this because i want to be able to see inside of these circles that i create so i'm going to create one circle like this Press the letter V to switch to my selection tool and then drag over until I have kind of a leaf shape in the middle. Select both and then in the Pathfinder panel, we are going to hit the intersect button. And I'm gonna move this over here for a second. This is gonna be kind of like our scratch board over here. The middle is where we're actually build everything that we're gonna work on. But here, I'll zoom in a little bit so we can work on this. I need a second copy of this here. And then we're going to Command C on the Mac, Control C on the PC, Command F on the Mac, Control F on the PC. And I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit inside and move it down until it snaps to the bottom. And then we're going to take this, select both of those, and hit minus front that's going to create kind of our little leaf shape that you saw before now we're ready to start building so let's go over here duplicate this little shape and the rotation i'm going to give it about a 30 degree rotation then i'm going to duplicate it by holding down option or alt dragging over that right click transform reflect hit okay there you go I'll zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm doing here move these a little further apart and I'm also going to use shift X to reverse so there's our little kind of stylized leaves then we are going to take this and we're just going to hold down the shift key and once we get it the spacing we want then we're gonna hit command or control D in this case I'm gonna do it four more times so I have six copies so one two three four something like that Then we take this little guy bring him out shift X and I want this to sit right in the middle of these things. So basically, first thing I'm gonna do is take these, let's group these, Command and Control G, move those to the center of the artboard, and then take this guy, move him to the center of the artboard as well, just using the alignment options there at the top. There we go. Now we need a stem going down, so we'll just take our line tool and start right at the base of the top of the leaf here, go straight down extend past just a little bit I'm gonna beef up the stroke in this case mine's five pixels but it's gonna depend on how big your shapes are so just get it to where it kind of looks like it fills up the middle like that and then change the width profile to this one with profile four initially it's gonna look weird because the point is gonna be at the bottom uh, we're just gonna tell illustrator hey flip that over so object path reverse path direction and when I click away now you can see it starts 
kind of thick at the bottom and goes thin all the way to the top. Okay, that's it. We're done building our leaves. So we're going to take this and I'm going to open up the brushes panel. I'm just gonna drag and drop this into the brushes panel. I'm gonna hit art brush, hit okay. We're gonna tell this to scale proportionately and then we are going to hit okay. And that's it, there's our brush right there. Now, I'm gonna create a new artboard over here just so we have a clean surface to work with and then I'm going to start off with a circle I'm just going to draw out a circle like this I'm going to use the direct selection tool to select one of the points on the right side or left side of the circle doesn't matter which side you start on by the way remove that by hitting delete on my keyboard that'll delete that and then, because I don't want the wreath to extend all the way to the top, because otherwise we'd have two pieces touching each other at the top, I'm going to use the pen tool to add a point somewhere close to the top, but not right there at the top. Then we'll use the direct selection tool to delete that point, the original end point. So now it's not a complete semicircle, it just kind of goes part of the way up and you can adjust this as much as you want like for instance if you wanted to take that down even more you can just add another point remove the end point that you had before and you're ready to go now all we have to do is apply the brush so click once art brush there's that now you can see here that it's upside down well same trick object path reverse path direction there it's our little wreath and then we can just take this duplicate it transform reflect hit OK there we go and to finish it off there's a really cool font that you can download uh, it's called Marin King so just let me find that in my list here Marin King regular kind of a uh, scripty Victorian type font so in this case, I'm just going to type out my initials, increase the size of that. And by the way, the keyboard shortcut to increase type is like the entire left side of the keyboard. Uh, shift option command on the Mac, shift alt control on the PC, and then the right or left caret keys. Those are the keys right next to the letter M on most of your keyboards that will start growing your type like that. And then all I'm going to do is move this to the center and there we go now of course you can add color you can you can do a lot of things to this but this is the basics of how we create something that looks like this so i hope that this was helpful and i hope that you enjoyed it and hope you learned something along the way and i can't wait to see what you create using techniques just like this and if you'd like to share that stuff with me you can do so by following me on twitter at justin seeley or by going over to my instagram and following me there i'm at justin s seeley again a little salty about whoever stole the uh, regular justin seeley but we'll let it go we'll let it go so follow me over there tag me in a post let me see what you create using art brushes in adobe illustrator well that's it I got nothing else, so thanks very much for making me a part of your day. As I said before, I'll see you right back here next time for another tutorial.